the shopping really, really nicely. Uh, one thing I, I don't like how the pencil sharpener is leaving a line in the, in, the, in the pencil. Are they made for right handed people? Probably. Most things in the world are. Tidy worker. She's <laughs> really bodes well considering we're using one of the messiest materials known to man. So, is there anyone in your life that you consider human? No. No. In no. Important to be able to draw using the colours. Yes, you've got. but no. I only have two humans important in my life. I mean, there's other people I like. I'm assuming I'm one of the important ones. Three humans. <laughs> <laughs> No, hero, hero worship's just not me. Also, I don't find there's enough space here to do what I want. That is the main issue I have. Yeah, they're, they're a lot softer. See, they, they, they barely... Well, that's really nice, though. These are really nice for, for, for kind of drawing shapes in as well. So light. I kind of find myself pressing down harder than I mean to, which is why I'm getting such thick lines. Can you tell what I'm drawing? No. It's, huh? Okay. It's kind of obvious, isn't it, when you um mm -hmm. <laughs> do that? I just don't have enough space to draw a tree. <laughs> I mean, uh, I could draw. I could draw a human. I couldn't draw a human. Let like you say that they're not what you would. Can... Sorry, human race. I can't stand the human race. <laughs> oh, at the moment, I don't think you're alone on that one. Sorry, I changed my mind what, about what I was doing. Well, kind of. I think I may have got the materials the wrong way around. If you don't like getting messy, don't use charcoal. Mm. I don't want to give too much away before I'm actually. Um... Mm. Ooh! I don't like that noise. Mm. You're right. Yeah, I just don't like my drawing. I'll save my drawing with some detail work. I changed my mind about what I was doing because now no one knows who it is. Mm. See if you if, see if you can spot what I'm doing, everyone. I don't know. I mean, I like working with a messy material like this because I, I have you used pastels before. Um, I've got some. Um, we yeah. had a session, didn't we, on yeah. this? But yeah, one of the other, yeah one of the other boxes had pastels in. I, I believe them. I believe we should show the difference in our working techniques here. This is my finger after half the drawing, <laughs> <laughs> but then this is my eraser. I've got a diddy bun, diddy one, diddy one. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah, I found I found it too soft. Look. What I, was doing. I think because I maybe put more pressure on stuff than you do. Can you finish with that, yeah? That pencil. Um, <laughs> he, he literally moved the pencil as far from me as he possibly can. Sabotage! I'm not trying to sabotage you. I'm trying to sabotage my own work by not putting a piece of paper down there. Yeah. <laughs> I've done one of Hershey before, haven't I? A few months mm -hmm. ago. Oh, the... Dandy Chin. Dandy Chin, yes. Dandy Chin. Dandy Chin. So it's only fair we do the non-Dandy Chin. I mean, he could be a Dandy Chin if he wanted to be. He doesn't want to be, though. Exactly. <laughs> you think I need to make the head a bit bigger? Yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Murphy. You don't really have such a fatty rump. <laughs> he really does. Look at the look at the videos, the chinchillas, and you will see Murphy has a sizable backside. He weighs like Six sixty grams more than Hershey, which is a little bit strange considering. It's all in the ass. Yeah, he's got a very fine booty, don't you, hurt Murphy? He's not awake, is he? No. The one is. I think I managed to save this. Mhm. Mm what do you think? Is that Superman? It's a very tactile, mm. tactile. He's got a little dimple in his head as well. <laughs> that is not where he took a dive out with the <laughs> You see what my hero is, though? 
Burley's backside, obviously. I genuinely do think he, like, I think the world could learn from Burley. The world could definitely learn from Batman. Just in case anyone can't figure out what the hell I'm drawing. How are you finding the materials? Um, the eraser, I'm finding really, really interesting. The paper, I, I don't know. I think it's because I'm used to laying my hands over all, the, all of my work. Yeah, you smudge, don't you? Yeah, it, it's, well, uh... I'm... Oh, God, your details. Hmm? I, I think it's just because I have a, I, I have a style that's, not necess that's very kind of straightforward. And I don't put a huge amount of detail into my drawings. Hmm. So I don't think that I'm necessarily the right person that would work with charcoals. Oh, I see it's smudged because I've um had... yeah. I'd much rather I'd much rather use felt tips and ink and pens. Um I mean one one thing that one thing I really do really do love about Scorler is that it makes you try new things. Mm -hmm. Like for instance I'm about, I'm about to try the sepia pen on his on his face just to see if I can get some skin tone. Remember, it blends really well. You can use the cotton buds. Well, that's why I'm, that's why I'm kind of doing it. At the oh, we've got a blending pencil as well. Yeah. Well, that's why I'm kind of doing it quite harshly at the bottom of the picture here. And of course, I have picked possibly the most one of the most Art Deco versions of Batman Ooh. in the animated series. Anyway, I might just use one of the cotton buds to try and blend it in. And. Just kind of say, I'm just trying to get a bit of a skin tone colour. Does it say this was for charcoal? I don't know, but I'm beginning to realise that by drawing in with these pens, mm. this is another thing that I've never really kind of experimented with. Um, I should have started drawing around his nose and around his face because then the shadows that I've been pulling down and I've, and I've got a better shadow on it. I want to try something like this, but maybe on one of my dark, one of my kind of darker drawings when I'm, in, when I'm in the right frame of mind to do them. I'm not in the frame of mind to draw a dark picture today, so this is why I chose... <laughs> it's the wrong scroll box for that, isn't it, then? Well, well but I mean, because use, using these is definitely kind of inspiring me to have a look at different art supplies. Again, you're using a finger technique, which is kind of obviously very different to what I'm doing. Mm. But how are you finding the supplies? I find these very light and I don't think they will last very long, but they do work quite well. This is more, I've used like, sorry, enunciate what I'm talking about. The sticks I find quite light and they're a bit different from what I've used before, but they're, they're putting down the colour quite well. You can tell that they're definitely um, less colour. The solid blocks, um, I was packing it down. I think I've been using that a bit more because I'm used to it. And um, my eraser works like an eraser, mm. which is kind of good. Oh, sorry, Mo, I accidentally. Uh... Oh, I just realised I've got now. I've got another picture where I've used the same design. Mm -hmm. We've done we've done it with different different supplies, so we can put them against each other and see how they look. Mm. I like to get all smudgy. Mm. Oh, I'm being all smudgy. I mean, I'm trying to restrict it to one finger, look. I mean, anyone that has ever seen a picture or video of my chinchillas will recognise this position. It's talk to the tail, isn't it? I just started using some of the colouring, some, the, the block to do some colouring in, and immediately I have a block-shaped mark in the middle of my bloody hand. Yeah, that's the problem, isn't it? It blends, you don't need that much, it goes quite quite far. No, 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 I'm saying it all because I like the way it's kind of blending in like this. Maybe I should try the finger technique. Oh, I'm trying to figure out remember where his ears are. Obviously on his head, but it's deliberate by the way that his head's smaller. It's implying a sense of distance. The emphasis of the picture is his fatty bottom. Sorry, Murphy, we shouldn't be so insulting, but it's not necessarily meant to be insulting. It's just most people would take it as insulting. Merley's got such pretty ears though. Mm -hmm. And suddenly, <laughs> suddenly the other one wakes up. I had pretty. This is obviously completely from memory though, so it's a little tricky. Okay, I really like how these erasers work in terms of being able to put like detail back in. 
I need to pick another finger. His ears are a bit wonky. I mean, I'm sorry, Murph. I'm not great with ears. Bless you, chillers. Why do you always finish before me? Because I Why don't you clear up the, clean up the edge bit? Because I, I think I tend to stick to simpler designs than you. Need to put some highlights in. Have a go with the erasers because I've used one side and just just to take a little bit of the the um, charcoal out from there. They do work quite differently. Yeah. I've made his tail a bit floofy. Merle doesn't really have a floofy tail, does he? Yeah. I could probably put a little bit of the sepia tones in it actually, just to some white too. I'm quite, I'm quite happy on my drawing. Yeah, the the um, these the the chalk pencils are a lot harder to work with. I find. Yeah. They're not going on as smoothly. I feel like you need more pressure to use them. What? No, it's just so Murphy. <laughs> it's entirely kind of it, it's Murphy just after a run, and that's why his ears are so red. Well, I'm trying to do something about that. I'm trying to imagine what would, what would happen if you put the the dandy hat on. <laughs> Sorry. We wouldn't survive it. Would we? No, 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 maybe, yeah. Yeah, these are definitely harder to work with. Maybe it's the combination of the paper. Blending. Because mm. mm. the blender doesn't really work so well with the chalk, so it's obviously meant uh, for the charcoal, so it's obviously meant for the chalk. Is it making a difference? Mm, no, not really. I don't like this very much. But I do like the fact that, that Squaller says in the magazine, you won't be using colour this time, so remember to save the shadows, and yet we've both, ma both managed to get colour in the pictures. Well, that's why the sepia is there, to, mm. to provide a nice... Contrast. Oh, darling, can I have a look at the back of your ears? <laughs> <laughs> I see. Well, you're looking for detail on them. Yeah, just the shape. Um, I've, I realise where I've gone wrong. They said this wasn't very erasable, so let's just see if we can. His ears are flatter, mm. not so. Mickey Mouse. Didn't make you look like Mickey Mouse. Don't mention the stereotypes to the chinchillas. You know how they feel about being stereotyped. He sat there with his back to me as well. I could have actually, you know. But his ears are in a completely different position. No. Yeah, this doesn't work on top of that at all. Mm. But they did say that, didn't they? Yeah. The eraser will help, then. Maybe. I just want to neaten it up a little bit. The ears are definitely the weak point. So I'm shading onto the bottom of the tail because I put the light's coming from the right hand side, mm. but also there'll be some darker bits here. Yeah, a bit of shadow in there. I know what I've done. I put his ear upside down. <laughs> <laughs> look, just look at the camera. His ear's upside down. Oh god. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh god. I can fix it. Not worry. Do not worry, Sir Murphy Super Paul. Your picture will be saved. In Murphy's opinion, that would be by binning it. <laughs> no, not by binning it, because someone might see it there burning it. And then using the charcoal from the burning it to make another picture. Of it being burnt. Mm. And then burning that as well because there'd be an element of the picture in it. So I think that, that's a little better that year. Um, I'm going to tackle the other one. Each other's are so tricky though. I think you've managed to get the personality in it. Without actually showing the face. The shadows on this side, so the sea needs a little darker. Not quite freckly enough for Merle. But the has got it. such cute little freckles. I'm gonna clean up around the edge now. The kneadable eraser does actually work better than the pointy one. I've just realised. But um, I think it's difficult to get points on the kneadable eraser, but it is definitely a useful mm. tool. But I think it's just because of how it raises naturally out like that. The fact that it's kneadable. Yeah. It wants to kind of go, it wants to be soft. See how it sharpens. 
because that was the problem I had with, see, it kind of is difficult to sharpen this one as well. But you get in all the little um, crevices. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm getting lower and lower as I do this. Crouching over the picture so there was oh. probably a really good view of my... The back of your head. My roots. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more shading. It was this side that needed it, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, I know what I wanted to do. I wanted to use this one. Excuse me, excuse my hands. Oh, that's really nice, with shadows. It doesn't want to go on top of the... Um, Depends on. Painting, you know, but that's fair enough. They did say that. Oh, I wanted some dark. Where's his dark bits? I need a point. I'm just gonna finish up, get rid of all the smudginess and just add some highlights. She says acting like she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> well that went well wasn't it? I was just putting fingerprints on it as I was removing fingerprints. Mm -hmm. I could blow. But it always looks better if you've got a cleaner border. Oh that's interesting. That? The um, thing provides a nice stippling effect. The kneadable eraser. Mm. which isn't necessarily relevant for yours, but when you're drawing something with fur... It gives it a texture. But you, tend to, you tend to add a lot of layers and more, more kind of yeah. need to your pictures. I try... Because I've noticed in the past I've had issues with um, just seeing the obvious, you know, and just seeing the one... One plane. And I try and avoid doing that I'm trying to look beyond huge part of art looking beyond you know mm. and there's nothing wrong with just seeing doing one layer but like now when I look at something I try and see the different colors in it so when you you, you see like that yeah there's a blue. it's white but it's not all the different colors in it there's, there's grays in there there's pinks from underneath where your hand was coming through yeah only in your case more like flax because of the charcoal. Oops. So this is where the light's coming from, so it needs to be a little lighter. But I don't want to get rid of all the... This is where the dark's coming, so it needs to be a little darker. I don't know why I decided to do the light that way around, but nonetheless, when the light in a little... There's a little curve at the tail there. There's a shadow there. So I think that would be really good for that. And that. I can use that darker bit on the back side to make. And then a little bit of the light just to. And I think I'm done. I think that's it. I enjoyed this. Um, yeah. I like these materials, so I always like the messy materials. I, yeah, I think you're more inclined to use them yeah. actually in your own artwork and things anyway, aren't you? Yeah. Um, and so my my carbon hero is my malicious's bottom. Talk to the tail. Bye for now.